Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Coming up, I will be unbagging the Grogu Baby Yoda oil painting paint by numbers kit that I got off of Amazon on Prime Day, so stay tuned. And hey, if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Yep, Prime Day shopping had gotten the best of me. I had gotten a few different things, and one of them's in this envelope right here. I have not opened it up to take a look at it yet, so this is what it is supposed to be. Of course, it won't be painted because it's a paint-by-numbers kit. So, yeah, let's open the envelope and see what's inside because, guys... It looks really small compared to what this is supposed to be. They said the size on this was definitely larger than that. So yeah, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, well, it's all folded up, so that explains it. They've redeemed themselves a little bit, but it is a paint-by-numbers set. It comes with 22 different little paints, all different shades of what is supposed to be on the little Grogu painting. And each one has a number on it. Hopefully those don't wear off so that I'll be able to see what I'm painting. It also comes with three brushes. I'll put that there so you can see them a little better. One thicker one and then two little tiny ones for fine painting. It comes with instructions and it comes with just kind of a map of what you're going to be painting just in case you mess something up and you can look at that to reference it and be like, ooh, did I use the wrong color there? But Direction-wise, pretty simple. Make sure that you get everything prepared beforehand. Make sure you have water on hand and a cloth in case you make a mess. Of course, fill the paint board with the numbers according to what's on the paint thing. And it is a quick drying paint, so make sure when you're not using your paint containers that you keep them closed. And when you're done with one color on a brush, make sure to clean that brush really, really well or that paint's going to dry on there and then that brush is going to be no good. But let's open up the canvas and see what it looks like. So there is the canvas, guys. Back it up here just so you can see. That is a pretty, pretty decent size. Bring it closer so you can see the numbers. We've got a lot of work ahead of me, guys. But you can see there's his ear and his little face. But yeah, right now this looks nothing like this right here. But hopefully once I get it started and kind of get coloring and painting with it that it'll start to kind of transform. I'm not going to do that now on this video guys. I just wanted to kind of open it and get a look at it. Get you the quality and everything that's involved with it. But I'm going to probably be doing this a little bit at a time. So I'll try to remember in videos to bring it on once in a while and be like look this is where I'm at on this painting. But Quality wise, it is. It's a thick canvas material on the back. Definitely scratchy canvas. On the front, it's very smooth. That paint is going to go on there very easily. I love paint by numbers. This was one of my favorite things to do as a teen. And I had a really cool tiger one that I did that I have no clue what happened to that. But usually they're on boards. Now this one, because it was folded up, it's got all these creases in it. And I wouldn't take a hot iron to it because I'm pretty sure this part of the canvas would melt even if you did it on the back side. So I'm going to have to stick this under some books or something to try to get these creases out because as you're painting it, I don't think that's going to look real great. It doesn't come with a frame, but it comes with two little hooks that you can put on it to hang it. But I think this would probably benefit from being put in some kind of frame and stretched out. That might help get rid of some of those wrinkles as well. Yeah, see, if you stretch it just a little bit, those wrinkles pretty much disappear. So I might actually have to take some clamps and keep it stretched before I start painting. I just, I want to get those out. And instead of folding it back up, guys, I'm going to roll it up. That way, at least those creases might work themselves out a little bit there too. So yeah, I'm going to keep it rolled rather than folded. 
Now, rating this on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, the concept, guys, is a totally rad to me. If it comes out looking like this picture, then yes, it is a totally rad as well. But for an actual rating, we're going to have to wait until I start painting it, see if I use up all the paints, if I run out of paint, how the brushes work, and I will definitely do an update video on this in the future as I'm getting going with it and kind of, you know, have a better idea on how well it's going to work. Now, I got a great deal on this on Prime Day. It was only like $10. Regular price on this is, I believe, $18.99 or around there somewhere. I will put the link to this in the description of the video in case anybody wants to grab one and, hey, paint along with me. That could be really fun. And then, you know, send me pictures of it on our social media so I can see how your progress is coming along, too. And speaking of progress, guys, I've almost got my top 10 Baby Yoda items list fine-tuned. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I said the other day I'm going to do a video with my top 10 Baby Yoda Grogu items. And it's going to include plush action figures, Funko Pops official and unofficial products but out of all of the items I have I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 which has turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be because I have so many things someone asked me the other day how many items do you have guys I don't know I haven't counted but I do know on my baby Yoda obsession playlist here on YouTube there's what 350 videos or so or close to 350 videos and most of those are merchandise reviews so yeah I'm, I'm gonna say I have at least 250 different baby Yoda items at least I will I will take the time to count it one day guys but honestly they are all over this room they are in other parts like the bedroom, there's some out in the living room, there's a couple things in the kitchen. So it's just a matter of me getting out a little tablet and kind of writing down all the different items that I have. So yeah, I will probably do that in a future video, but probably not anytime soon. That one's going to take a little bit to get together. So hopefully by the end of the summer I can do that. And of course I keep adding things, so the list is going to keep going up and up and up. But Anyways, in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, guys? It's so big. <laughs> we'll see you later.